Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's garbage day. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday garbage day. Y'all know it's when y'all know it's Wednesday when she says that. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit late. We had uh, we had stuff to do. Well, last night and this morning, not work related, and we are friggin' tired. Yeah. We're worn out. You might be able to. You could probably see it in my eyes. In, Candace, you don't look too tired, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have the benefit of a little makeup. That's to... the beauty of makeup; you can hide your tiredness, <laughs> somewhat, yeah. huh? So yeah, we're getting a late start, so we really need to get packages ready to go out. So we're gonna get right into oh, it. Yeah, we gotta beat the carrier this morning. Yeah. I think we have uh, twelve orders going out. Fortunately, I think most of them are fairly, fairly quick packs, yeah. so might be able to actually make it. Yep. All right. You ready? Let's go. Right into it. Three Charlie, Mike Anderson's cookbook. Ooh, that's a good one. And that shelf is in alphabetical order. Uh, some of our viewers will really appreciate that. <laughs> I might appreciate it too. It's this book right here. You just picked this. I guess this. I need to give you the full title because that would be under R's. <laughs> right? I, didn't, I just saw Mike. There's not enough books for it to be an issue yet. Okay. $35 for that. Okay, we just picked that up this weekend. Yep. I've never seen that one before, and when I looked at the comps, I was pleasantly surprised. And that's a really clean copy. It is. Man, it's in great condition, isn't yeah. it? No food splatters or grease stains or nothing. All right. All right. MU8 Dead Space 3 PS3 game. Again? Oh, no, that's not the game I was thinking of. <laughs> there were like two copies of this other game Dead Space. Make sure I have the right one. Limited edition. Is it limited? It doesn't say that. Can you the no, no it, it's right. I, I can see it's the right one on there. $10 for that. Okay. Six Charlie, lot of four Assassin's Creed games for PS3. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Six Charlie. This is actually... I think these are going to the same person, aren't they? Or no, the next one. The next one. Yeah. yeah okay. All right, those sold for 20 and then on the same order, MU8 Elder Scrolls 5 for PS3. That's uh, that's Skyrim, I think. Yeah. Eight dollars for that. And so all this goes together. And these are, I think these are all Bev Buy games here, I believe, from our last buy from Beverly. All right, on 4D, it says Dash L, but I moved it to the right yesterday when I was putting something up. So on this side, uh huh. Uh, Build a Bear Chewbacca. It's in a Walmart bag. Where, which shelf? Four Delta. Four Delta, okay. Oh, you said it's in a Walmart bag. All right. Well, before I ship, I'm going to take it. Not that there's anything wrong with shipping in a Walmart bag. I'll take it out of the Walmart bag and put it in one of our clear bags. I think at that time we were out of our little garbage bags and I didn't want him to get all dusty. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's all for $15.29. All righty. Three Bravo uh, Roger's Cajun Cookbook. I think that's a pretty good sale too. Oh, it's this one. Those are a little small. Yeah. Roger's Cajun Cookbook. It says Lanyap in the upper right. Is yeah, that correct? Lanyap edition. Okay. Forty-five dollars for that. That's a good one, man. That's a couple of really good books going Those out. Those Roger's cookbooks are money. Yeah. All right. Um. And and then MU eight again. Mm hmm. Ugh. Bionic Commando PS3. Oh, boy, these games Clearing are... out that drawer, huh? Yeah. I just started... I didn't have anywhere else to really put games. I didn't want to put them on that shelf back there because you were doing cookbooks. So I'm like, well, smalls are kind of... We're not... We don't have near as many smalls as we used to, so I'm going to start putting a few things like this in there. Yeah. That's all for $8. All right, we sold a KLF vinyl. It's like a greenish cover with a red car on it. Okay, let me see if I can find it. We sold through a lot of the vinyl that we bought at a garage sale. No, an estate sale. What, how long ago was that? Two weeks ago? Yeah. It's gone pretty well. Here we go. That, is, that estate sale was awesome. You paid, what, $3 a pop? 
No, it's two dollars. Two dollars a record. That's sold for eighteen. All right, nice. All right, we have we sold a Monster High doll, Five Echo. Um, this is Tor Lee C. Five Echo Tor Lee, Lee C. C. Yep. Can Candace is gonna come uh, supervise me this time. She's right on my tail. I don't get to touch uh, Monster High without her. All right, Tor Lee. Tor Lee, and you said Charlie. Yep. Do you concur? I do. All right. That's all for 14. All right, the next order has two items, three Charlie, uh, Cane River Cuisine Cajun Cookbook. Three Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, we, need, we definitely need a better... Uh, Okay. Yeah, because it keeps falling. Cookbooks are kind of heavy. Cane River Cuisine. Yes. Alrighty. That's all for 20. Okay, nice. And then on 5 Bravo, uh, uh, Mike the Tiger Turbis Cup. Wait, they're sold in the same order? Yeah. They can't ship together, though, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what is it again? 5 Bravo, five Bra Shoe Turbis. The one you just bought? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the one that's brand new with the uh, tag still on it, it there. It even has a little pamphlet inside or whatever. Oh, does it? Yeah. Like, it's never even been opened. Inside. Oh, I see it. Yeah. You know, Tervis, um, Ter Tervis's lettering looks very similar to eBay's. Let me see it. Oh, yeah. The font. The and font the, like, and how they use different colors. Right. Yeah. Um, that's all for twenty dollars. Oh, okay, that's a good one too. All right, in the chest drawer, Toy Biz uh, weapon accessory. I have to come help you. Cause, uh, well, there's not that much in here. It's this, right? Yeah. yeah. That thing. Yeah. Seven dollars and nineteen cents. All righty. And that is everything going out today. That is everything going out. We are in a hurry. I'm probably just going to pack it all, to be honest, mm -hmm. and let Candace move on with her listing. We will get back to that, though. Yep. Maybe tomorrow. I don't yeah, know. Well, <laughs> we'll see. We'll have something good I can pack. Okay, packages are out. Pretty light, easy packing day. That, that was kind of nice. I wish we would have had a little more, uh, like a few more orders, but uh, I appreciate. Like, Especially not... after yesterday. You packed for, what, like six hours straight or something? Yesterday was rough, man. Yeah. And I, I didn't do a very good job either. I wasn't very efficient. I was just done with it. Yeah, I know. I was done with it. I was yeah. like yesterday. I was like, at, I packed the typewriter yesterday, and I was just done. I was done. <laughs> you ever have days like that where you're just like very often? <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, if you, if, I mean, if you do, you can tell the truth. But I'm, I don't, I'm good at hiding when I'm done. I guess I don't have a lot of days where I feel like that, but I felt no. like that yesterday. I was like, okay, man. And I didn't even, like, I, I listed yesterday, I, I really, like, especially on, it was kind of a pseudo Monday, but especially on a Tuesday, man, I, I feel like I should be listing. We probably sh should have sent more items out, got more items packed up on Monday, huh? Yes, that was the, that was the takeaway from that. I, I just wanted to chill because everybody else had the day off. It seems. So. Yeah, I was talking to Ryan and Justin, and they were like, oh, "Justin's playing video games, and Ryan's chilling at home." And, yeah, I was, <laughs> I was like, "That's not fair." Okay, from now on on holidays, I'm not talking to people that got the day off. Yeah, because <laughs> put put everything on uh, silent. Yes. So I have some good news. Uh, do y'all remember the little goodie bags Lonnie picked up at that estate sale? Uh, two bags, total three dollars between the two. Like yep. one was two dollars, one was one. So I pulled that stuff out and I started listing it, and it it didn't look that great, you know. But I'm plugging along. I listed like I was listing like little lapel pins and earrings, and you can see here like ten, 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 eight, eight. And then I got to these two little things here. I don't know. We may have to put pictures up there. Yeah, I'll put, um, you know what? I'll put the uh, your listing photos in or the uh, listings yeah. themselves. In. Definitely the close up on this one. So um, I was going to list both of these together for $10 because, you know, they're not like real gold or silver or whatever. They're just little fireman tchotchke. Mm -hmm. They're fireman hats. So I'm taking my pictures. I had my listing going $10, the two of them together. I was putting them together. And okay, 
our lens on our camera is so awesome. I'm going to brag again. <laughs> I zoomed in and I, I saw, I mean, it's, you can't see with the naked eye. Can you read that? Um, I'm look. I'm peering over my glass. Yeah, I can read where it says fireman's up top and fund at the bottom. Yeah. But I'm, ha I'm having to peer over my yeah. glasses to like, do it. My vision's pretty bad right now. Um, and I, I couldn't read it. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it was like some generic... So anyway, I zoomed in with the camera and I saw that. I'm like, wait a minute, why would they put that on there? So I went looking at Fireman's Fund jewelry. Good money. Really? Even the non-gold silver stuff. Oh, so they make like fine like fine jewelry like that too? Yes. Huh, or I, precious I, metals? What I'm thinking is if it's someone is donates to the Fireman's Fund mm. that they get, it's like a prize they get. Right, 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 yeah. So to make a long story short, 25 for this and there was a solid comp on this by the way i found one of these on worth point okay and then 25 on the little lapel pin or tie tack i found another one that wasn't this one but it was fireman's fun so that's where i got my comp for that so 25 for those two that's not i mean that's awesome and it is a little surprising because i didn't really think those bags were that great yeah but um, I shouldn't be surprised because fireman stuff, uh, it, fireman collect collectible, very, very yeah. collectible, especially something like that. That's not like, a, you know, something you bought at Walmart or something, right? Right, right. Hmm. Okay. And then on to our last piece that I listed, um, this little Valentine pin and you could tell it was vintage. And so I started looking at comps for it and, um, the last so there's no actives right now and there's been a few solds in the last year or two and um the in the 20 to 25 dollar range so the last sold was 22 dollars so i listed this little one for 25 and it's, that's celluloid um people i'm going by what people are saying and you know that you can't always i think it's accurate though just from looking and feeling yeah um celluloid and people are saying 1950s there is another one out there that's 1940s. It has like a bow up here and it's worth a little more money. Mm. Um, but yeah, $25 for this little pin here. So that brings our grand total for those $3 in goodie bags up to uh, 121 before. That's fees. all you've listed today? Is that, that stuff? Everything is that stuff. 121? Yes. And it takes up almost... It takes oh, it's up, all in pockets. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could, we could basically, like we could fit an infinite number of things like yeah. that in here, right? The only thing that's not in pocket is I went ahead and signed a thank you card for you and put the little earrings on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's smart to, uh, yeah. It's ready to go for you. Those are cool little, uh, little train engines. Th uh, those are neat. Yeah. They're enamel. I thought those were cool. I, d I did too. I like yeah. those. those. I are didn't neat. find any solid comps like these exact so ones. So you did like I 10 just, bucks? I went based off of how much does vintage train engine earrings go for. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you have your one offs that are like from expensive designers or whatever but just your general earrings so. okay well good so yeah so if you see little uh little bags of uh little nuggets take a gamble if it's a buck or two right Go for it you that's exactly know. how that's exactly the scenario where i bought the little bull terrier yeah lot of stuff yeah mm -hmm. it was a very similar kind of oh look there's a lot of junk for not much money right but yeah. i did notice that it was, had dog stuff in there yeah. so i was like okay i'm gonna get that because people love dogs yeah you know yeah so cool yeah that's that's a good little start to the day yeah so that bag is done uh the rest of it is not worth listing uh, i guess we'll donate that um i may just take the, the pin backs off and save them because um like yeah. girl scouts pins on the vest they're always losing them right so i may just hold on to those for our girl scout troop all right, it is later and I have actually set up, this was a stereo that was in the back there. And I actually have another stereo too uh, that's back there as well. But I'm using this stereo and a couple of these little speakers here. I have a few components that were in our uh, storage unit. I have this and then I have another changer down there. We actually have a lot more um, stuff like that too. I think I might even have, I think I have a uh, DVD VCR combo in here maybe. Or no, there's something down there too. I'm not exactly sure what it is. 
but we do have some bulky electronics and we uh it's taking up a lot of room so how many how many pieces you think we have canvas total that kind of stuff um maybe like 20 pieces or something yeah 15 to 20 yeah some, so like maybe about 15 yeah i'm trying to work through that stuff we're, we're both uh we're both pretty we usually have good days in here but we're both really tired today yeah. so it has not been the most productive day <laughs> but and it this is odd for us we're usually not like like usually one of us at least is but to, yeah. today we are just both zonked out i'm gonna go ahead and well i did already test this guy and i think i can get about 60 to 65 for it if i'm willing to pack it which i am i went ahead and tested it and everything loaded it up with a bunch of cds and uh made sure it goes in between i actually played a, a track off of each one too everything worked fine and actually i'm testing the stereo at the same time too so i could sell that too if i wanted so we did have this could be a short one but we did well i think it is unless i get real long-winded sometimes we have more footage than we realize <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um but we had a good question from reselling and thrifting and they asked have you ever not found an item you had listed if so more than once did you get so did you get a ding from ebay so Candace, I, I want to hear your perspective on this because you've been in here for a little over two years now. Um, how often do we like not find something? I now? would say in the last two years, only a couple of times. And that was before, like when I got here, a few months after I got here, we did an inventory and that, that kind of helped eliminate that. Yep. How many did you have before we did an inventory? A lot. A lot. So, so the the inventory that Candace is talking about, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know that we've even. Man, I, I got to knock on so much wood. I know. Here you go again. I don't remember the last time we didn't fulfill an order. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I really don't. I don't. I cannot recall. That's what I said. Maybe one a year, but I don't, I don't even, even know in the past year if we've had one. I don't remember one. Yeah but i did want to read this question because like for new sellers we're all new sellers at some point when i first started when i first started this thing when i first started like getting heavy into ebay you, and you you start with like you have like 20 items and then you have 50 and then you have 100 and i was working out of a spare bedroom mm -hmm. at that point yep. and i'm like oh yeah i'll just put the electronic stuff will be in this closet then have a little shelf that has that kind of stuff right and it's like oh this is easy it's not many items right. and the next thing you know you got you got 200 items and you sell one and you start looking for it and i'm telling you all i had no inventory system whatsoever nothing nothing all i had when one when something sold i just like let me go get it let me go find it yeah, let me find it and that works for a while and then at some point I, I would say once i got up to around four or five hundred items and i even it i had gotten a storage unit at that point i was working on a storage unit some y'all might remember this um but there was a time where i had like probably five to six hundred items still no inventory system i would kind of categorize things uh okay all the models are going to be over here all the electronics over here all this and i would have people in my comments tell me lonnie you really need to get some kind of inventory system you really need and i'm like nah i got it it's good it's working that's uh unnecessarily com unnecessary complication and the next thing i know i can't find this thing and then i can't find that thing and then the thing that i couldn't find before the next week I'm, i go to pull some other order and there's that thing behind it yeah and i just didn't see it you know and like i'm like oh man and, and every time that would happen i would have to cancel the order and no, i don't know i can't remember what the reason was i wouldn't lie about it i wouldn't say bad address or anything i would just take the defect and i would say for the first couple of years i was an ebay seller 
I was in, I was never like a, I never had a bad account or anything, but I was constantly in and out of top rated seller all the time. I was always on the edge. Like I would like, I would get that defect. It would knock me out for three months or whatever. And the next time they checked me, I had a, you know, I was like really careful and I'd get back in it. And it wasn't until I actually had an inventory system in place that that stopped happening and that hasn't happened in like years now because we are uh like we we're pretty careful it might look a little haphazard in here we do forget um occasionally but it's but most of the time it's kind of fresh in our mind where we put it or we kind of know where we would have put that type of item but yeah if you had like a ton of things without location Candace, when I first got this shed, I don't think I when I first got the shed and put the stuff on the shelves, I don't think I had inventory yet. It wasn't until like if y'all look, if y'all see like uh, Yeah, some of the shelves have names. Inox uh, RLC. RLC was Redline Club. Fish typically that i would name the shelf that was when i first started doing inventory locations i would name the shelf after the first item i put on it in a lot of cases and sometimes i would name them after we had a candace shelf yeah a pippin shelf yeah we had a pippin shelf a molly shelf a sarah shelf let's see what else oh pop a that's when i had a bunch of pops so i started pop there's a molly toby that's a cat <laughs> green i don't know why i called that z Pippin, there's a Pippin shelf there. Some of y'all might remember when I would go looking for, the, you know, pulling off the Pippin shelf Some or something. I got mad when I came in and changed it to a letter number system instead well, of names. And the reason we did that because it was easier for me to find things because he knew where Pippin shelf was, but I didn't really know. I would have to kind of go scan the shelf. It made sense. It was time. Yeah. It really was time. It's more fun to have the shelves named. Yeah. But yeah uh but to get back to the question though like because for me that was like one of the major things i had to get over was thinking i was too smart to need an inventory system yeah uh, you know it's kind of like that that's what it was i thought oh i don't that's for other people yeah, I'm, don't, I'm, don't be pr too proud to take advice or, <laughs> right. at least, or at least consider it right and i'm not i'm not even saying that they, they may have an inventory system yeah i don't know but um so did you get a ding yes you do get dings from ebay and if you get enough it could put your account in jeopardy really not fulfilling an order and canceling it it's a very poor customer experience for ebay customers or for your customers so ebay treats that very harshly you don't get too many of those before they start charging you extra fees and then you don't get too many more after that until your account's in real jeopardy and I've heard of plenty of people that have gotten like, have gotten like major account suspensions for that kind of thing. So yeah, it's a serious, it's like one of the most serious things that can happen with your account is not being able to pull, pack and fulfill the sh the, the order. So yeah, take that very seriously. eBay does ding it very hard. So um, gonna be a quick one today, I think. I don't know how long this was. <laughs> we need Candace is over here yawning. Uh -huh. She needs to go take a nap. She's she's not feeling great. I'm not feeling great either. So I think we're gonna go ahead and call it quits for the day. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Bye y'all. Bye.